Today we are going to uh, discuss CART that is classification and regression tree. Uh, there is a very famous problem of uh, machine learning that is how to categorize the given objects. Uh, the problem is we have a cluster of objects or a collection of objects and we have to categorize them uh, so that the objects of different types are separated from each other. So the most important uh, concept, the most important way to categorize those objects is, use some, is to use some feature or some questions. And the quality of that feature or question is very important. If you use the right feature, then you can categorize the objects very efficiently. Otherwise, you have to do it again and again and your tree keeps growing. So let's uh, see an example. Uh, say you have these six objects and you have to categorize these objects. I mean, you have to separate these objects that so that circles are separated and rectangles are separated. So now say we have uh, two features. One feature is a color feature. If we use a color feature, uh, how will we segregate these both objects? For example, this parent node has two objects, uh, six objects, three rectangles and three circles. And if we categorize these objects, using the concept of color then we can say that if the color is green we will come here to this node and we will have two rectangles so this node has 100% purity and we are 100% sure that this node already can always contains rectangles but if the color is red we go to this direction and this node has three circles and one rectangle but here we do not have 100% surety because in this node the probability of having a circle is 0.75 whereas the probability of having a rectangle is 0.25 although this node is more pure than its parent but it's not 100% pure our goal is to gain as much purity as possible using the right feature right question. If, if you further want to split this node, you can split this node using the other feature that is the value of x axis. And here if we write the question whether the x is less than 2, if the x is less than 2, then we are 100% sure that it will be a rectangle because this red rectangle is at this side otherwise we will have three circles so now using two levels of this binary tree we have achieved 100% purity and at this point we are 100% sure that this node has circles and this node has rectangles and this node has rectangles but if we but here we did a slight mistake we didn't use the right feature at this point had we not used the color instead if we had used the value of x x at this point we didn't have need to grow it further for example say at this point if we say if we use the feature of x axis then if x is less than 2 then this will contain all three rectangles you can say like this all three rectangles are separated here and it will contain all, only all three circles and we do not need it further this way so it is very important to choose the right question or right feature and how to use the right feature right question there are some mathematical formulas that we can use and those formulas are called uh, entropy and information gain. Before uh, going to those formulas, let's some uh, uh, discuss some terms. The, the classification tree is called uh, card is called classification and regression tree. If we categorize the data, 
uh, it, it is used for both type of data uh, I mean continuous and discrete the tree for continuous uh, data is called regression tree and the tree for uh, discrete data is called classification tree and in this part of the lecture we are discussing classification tree where we will be classifying the discrete data and to classify the discrete data we will use two mathematical formulas which that is entropy and information gain in simple or layman's terms you can say that entropy is actually impurity if the node is impure it contains entries of different types its entropy must be high but if the a given node is very pure I mean it only contains a entries of same type like this node is very pure because it contains all the entries of same type rectangle and this node is also very pure because it contains only the entries of circles these nodes have very low entropy actually zero entropy for it and zero entropy for this node but this node is very impure because here we are not sure what it actually contains because if some new object is added into this node we are 50 50 that whether it is a circle or a rectangle so this node must have high impurity and high entropy and the mathematical formula for entropy is probability of an entry in that node into log of that probability plus probability of other entry and log of that that probability and so we take probabilities of all the entries with multiple of with it by mul and multiply it with its log and then we sum all those values this is entropy so let's this is a problem and uh, these are the results this is the data that we have to classify or categorize and this data contains four objects two slow and two fast as for slow as for fast and we have to split this node so that the child nodes children nodes are 100% pure and uh, are, you, are other, you can say as pure as possible and to split those these this node we have these three different questions or features and you can use any one of them for instance uh, if you let, let's say which feature is uh, more beneficial and to use which feature is more effective we will use the concept of entropy and information gain the formula of information gain is entropy of parent minus the entropy of children with weighted average so uh, if the entropy of parent and the weighted average of entropy of children is almost uh, is same then we do not gain anything in drawing this tree so it will have zero information gain but if the difference is high we have we do have some gain so we will use that feature which will have the maximum information gain uh, so let's apply this formula uh, for this first feature and for this first feature let's first compute the entropy of this parent node this parent ha node has two types f and s and probability for type f is you know 0.5 and 0.5 into log of 0.5 log of 0.5 is minus 1 similarly 0.5 into log of 0.5 and the value is 1 you can yourself compute it so the entropy of parent is 1 now, now we compute entropy of left child and you know left type is 100% pure because the chances of f is always 100% because it doesn't have any s type so probability of f into log of f that is 1 into log of 1 that is 0 its entropy is 0 and entropy of this node probability of s is you know 2 by 3 and log 2 by 3 plus probability of f is 1 by 3 into log 1 by 3 and the answer is 0.9 so the entropy of this node is 0 
and now we uh, mine uh, subtract the weighted average uh, weight of this node is because uh, to total nodes are 4 so node weight of this node is total entries are 4 this node contains only one entry so it has weight 1 over 4 1 over 4 into its entropy that is 0 this value plus weight of this node is 3 over 4 because total nodes are 4 and it has 3 entries 3 over 4 into its entropy its entropy was 0.9 so we subtract this value that is a weighted average into entropy of children from parent node and and, and this is again it's actually the difference between entropy of parent and child if the difference is high then we say that we are gaining something if difference is zero then we can say that we didn't gain anything by drawing this tree because entropy entropy remains the same so if we use the feature grade the information gain is 0 0.325 so next now let's compute the information gain for next feature that is bumpiness and we draw a tree for bumpiness for bumpiness if bumpiness and bumpiness slow and fast we get sf and for smooth we again get get sf so before uh, going into mathematics let's just observe this tree and see how pure or uh, impure these nodes are this node is impure because uh, very impure because the probability to predict anything is 0 0.5 there are 50% chance of being f and 50% chance of being s and so now when we split this node using the feature of bumpiness again we get the same type of uh, nodes here again probability of f is 0 0.5 and probability of s is 0 0.5 similarly here 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we didn't gain anything by splitting this node using the feature of bumpiness so it, this is a not a right feature to split the tree so we can prove it mathematically the entropy of parent node is one that have we already computed the entropy of left node is probability of s into log of s that is again 0.5 into log 0.5 plus 0.5 into log of 0.5 the same thing we get 1 similarly entropy of right child is also 1 and its weight is 2 over 4 because total entries are 4 2 over 4 similarly 2 over 4 so the information gain by using the formula above is 0 so there is no use of using this feature so finally let's see what information gain we get using the third feature that is speed limit so when we draw a tree using speed limit we get this data and even uh, before using the mathematics we can safely say that it is a very useful feature because here in the parent node uh, we have very impurity we cannot we have 50% chances of f and 50% chances of s but this child node is 100% pure we can surely say that it contains s and this is also 100% pure and we can uh, surely say that it contains f so definitely the entropy of this is high and entropy of this this is 0 and this is 0 so the difference will be more than the uh, future that we uh, used earlier so here we will uh, have more information gain so let's do the mathematics so entropy of parent is 1 and entropy of left child must be 0 definitely it is 0 because probability of s is 1 and log of 1 is 0 that will be 0 similarly probability of f is f and log of uh, uh, probability of uh, f is 1 and log of 1 is 0 again it is 0 and again the weighted average uh, into entropy it is 0 and here information again is 0 so when we used this third feature we got information gain of 1 for second feature 
we got information gain of zero and for first feature information gain was 0.325 so the maximum information gain we got was one and that was from the third feature so when we will start when we we would start building tree at for the first point point we will use this feature so this is how the tree is grown for a card in the case of classification tree and for growing tree in the case of regression uh, you must watch my next lecture so stay tuned for that thanks